Hey y'all, welcome to my channel. If you are new, welcome. If you are returning, welcome on back. So today's look is dedicated to my baby cousin Marin, who reminded me that it is prom season. So I decided to recreate an easy go-to glam for prom or any date night you might have coming up. But yeah, if you're interested in seeing how I achieve this look, keep on watching. Okay, so I kind of went on ahead and got started a little bit. So I went on ahead and took this LA color cover up stick and I am just going to buff away some of these dark circles for our makeup look today y'all know that prom is like all night because you have dinner then you have pictures or pictures then dinner and then off to the prom and then dance the night away so we want to make sure that all our bar bases are covered and then I'm just gonna go in with a little bit more wherever I get the most red and just go ahead and buff that out any of these dark splotches that I might have. I mean, we are covering everything. And then to be a little extra and set everything in place, I'm just gonna be taking my Bosch charcoal setting spray and I'm just gonna make sure everything is okay. Make sure everything is set in place. Wonderful. All right, so moving right along to foundation, what I'm gonna be using is I'm gonna be using my Smashbox, my Studio Skin Finish in the color 3.35. If y'all been following me, y'all know I'm not too keen on this color because I'm naturally 3.3, but whatever. I'm learning how to make it work. So I'm just gonna buff this into my skin until I like what I see. And even bringing it up a little bit to my eyelids just to make sure that everything is all one shade. We don't wanna be looking like we are two-toned. And then for the high-end products, like the more prestige brands, you can get away with like, you know, one to two pumps. But if you're using L'Oreal or drugstore or whatever, you might wanna add an extra pump just in case because we want your stuff to last all day and all night into the breakfast spot in the morning, okay? It's prom. So next, I'm just gonna go in with my Makeup Revolution in the color C10. And I'm gonna highlight a little bit, but not really too, too much because the color of my foundation actually matches my skin perfectly, so I don't wanna do too much highlighting. So we're just gonna do just enough to get us there. And if you're lazy like me, you can always bring your concealer up on your eyelids to act as your base for your eyeshadow, but the choice is completely up to you. What we're gonna do is I'm just gonna take my Patrick's powder. I mean, I love this stuff. If you all have not got your hands on it, I'm so sorry. But I'm just gonna go ahead and just sit everywhere where my concealer is where I want to make sure everything stays in place and does not run because I plan on being in the middle of the dance floor so if that is you and you plan on being in the middle of the dance floor definitely make sure that you're setting everywhere okay trust me I've been there all right and then for our eye look I'm gonna be using my it's my Ray Ray by BH cosmetics Let's see, I'm gonna go into this color. I believe this color is called Mousse, and I'm just going to buff that into my crease. We want a nice, kind of taupey shade-ish, just because I kind of, the look that I'm going for is really user-friendly for those of you all who aren't really makeup junkies yet, but hey, listen, gotta start somewhere. All right, so I'm gonna be going into this shade right here. It's called Midnight, I believe, and I'm just going to work that onto the outer V of my eye, just to give me a little bit more definition. And you can literally just carve a V over and over and over again until you kind of like the intensity. And I'm literally just buffing that into my crease. And I'm using a smaller blending brush to get into the eye socket to where is not as big as my fluffy brush so the color won't spread too much and then once we kind of got the intensity that we're looking for what i'm going to do is i'm just going to take my original fluffy brush and just kind of diffuse out the harsh lines to make it look very nice and gradient this eye look i would say is one of those looks that you can actually use no matter what color dress you have on what color tux whatever 
whatever you got on this makeup look will complement whatever it is you're wearing trust me so next I'm just going to be taking my MAC paint pot in the color soft ochre and I'm just gonna be carving out my eyelids wherever I want the glittery shimmery shades to sit I mean you don't have to use a base you can literally just add water to your brush and place the shimmery shades where you like but I'm being extra so watch me work I'm gonna be going in with this cute color it's called um, Allison it's a really nice champagne color which i really actually like it so we'll see what it does i mean i've used it on a couple of looks just not on this particular look today it doesn't necessarily have to be perfect because you're always going to just blend out at the end so don't feel bad if some of your shimmery shade just bleeds over into the um, darker shade because we'll blend it out later Right, and to make sure that the crease isn't so harsh I'm gonna go back in with midnight and I'm just going to kind of just dab away just a little bit there's no rhyme or reason I'm not really doing it in any particular way I'm just trying to cover up the harsh line because I'm gonna blend that out in the end And then I'm just gonna blend out the harsh lines. I literally have only used four brushes. One to blend and one to pack on my shimmery shade and one to put my paint pot onto my eyes. But this is a completely simple look that you can really do and not really have break too much of a sweat. And still look extra glam, so. You can be cute and not have to go overboard. So for my powder, I am a creature of habit. I like what I like. I'm just gonna go in with my pure foundation in the color golden dark and I'm just gonna buff that into my skin and bring some color back into my face. Alright, so to bronze my face, I'm just going to be taking my NYX bronzer in the color Deep and I'm just going to be giving myself just a little bit more life and chisel out all of my features that I want to accentuate for the evening. So for a highlight, I'm just going to be going in with my, it's my Ray Ray collab again, and I'm just going to be going in between Radiant and Moonlight, and I'm going to swish those two together and just highlight until I like what I see. And it's alright if you go a little bit on overboard on the highlighter side because you can always take your powder brush and just kind of tone it down a little bit. All right, and then for blush, I'm just gonna be using my Pacifica blush per usual. I really do like this blush. It works for me right now, so if it ain't broke, do not fix it. All right, so we have the basics. We have the eye look, we have the foundation, we have the highlighter or whatever. So I'm gonna go ahead and do my mascara, eyeliner, and all that off camera, and we'll come back with the under eye and the lips. So stay tuned. All right, so I am back. I went on ahead and did my eyeliner and mascara off camera. So I'm just gonna go in with the color Midnight Steel in the It's My Ray Ray collection, and I'm just gonna sweep that under my lower lash line and see what we come up with. Simple, yet elegant. That's the look that we're going for today. So, for lips, what I'm gonna do is I'm going to do something a little different. I'm going to take my NYX Liquid Luminizer. This was an epic fail a couple of days ago, but it actually ended up working out. So I'm just gonna take it and just kind of put it onto my lips and just kind of dab it a little bit. All right, and then going in with my lip pencil from MAC in the color Current, I'm just gonna line my lips. 
make sure that your illuminator is dry first before you do it because it does make a difference all right and then to finish it off we're going to invite fenty beauty's gloss balm to the party and we're just going to top off our lip color until we like what we see All right, y'all, so this is the completed look. If you like it, make sure that you give it a thumbs up. If you're not already subscribed to my channel, I'm not gonna judge you, but I do feel some type of way. So hit the subscribe button already. Also, make sure that you're connecting with me on social media as well. We have a lot of fun over there. But yeah, if you recreate this look for prom night, date night, going out, whatever, make sure that you tag me so I can see the look that you created. But yeah, mm, that's all the time that your girl has today. So remember until my next upload, the kindness doesn't cost you a thing, but your attitude will cost you everything. So remember to be kind and be you.